Yo, what's up guys? Timmy here. Welcome back to another Decant Boutique video. Today we have top five Dior fragrances. Top five Dior fragrances. Now, I do have some auto mentions. I only, I'm only gonna talk about two lines here in the Dior line. I'm talking about the Dior Homme line. I'm talking about the Sauvage line. So no La Collection or Privé. I do consider that line to be niche myself. So we're just gonna talk about the designer lineup Dior today. And before we begin, I do have one honorable mention. I'm not gonna grab the bottle, but this one is Sauvage EDP. Now, Sauvage EDP is a fantastic release by Dior. The only reason why it's in the honorable mention is simply because I have the EDT somewhere on the list. Spoiler alert, the EDT is somewhere on the list. And I don't want to just populate the whole list with like Sauvage EDT, EDP, Cool Spray. You know, like they all smell very similar. So I decided just to pick one of that from the Sauvage line and just throw it in the list. And the rest of them are in the honorable mention. So the first honorable mention is the EDP version. This one is a smoother version than the Sauvage EDT. Smells richer, a little bit more depth, a little less scratchiness, a little less metallic -y. So if you're looking for something more rounded off in the Sauvage DNA, that one is great. Performance is roughly the same at 89 hours. So no takeaway from wearing the EDP over the EDT. So it's gonna be just a slightly bit less fresher take on a scent. So the projection might be a little bit skewed down, but is by no mean a soft projecting fragrance. It's still very loud, monstrous, fresh fragrance. So again, no takeaway from the performance of the EDP versus the EDT. Next honorable mention is Very Cool Spray. This one is actually one of my just all time favorites. The reason it's in the honorable mention is again, the EDT is somewhere in the list. And also Very Cool Spray is one fragrance that I can't tell at all how much I have left in the bottle because it's a different kind of spray altogether. It works more like a deodorant spray if you guys have ever seen it. So yeah, I, I hate the fact that I can't tell how much I'm spraying and I hate the fact that I can't tell how much is left in the bottle. But yeah, the good things about that one is that it just smells so good. It's Sauvage, but extremely more refreshed. Like there's more citrus in here. There's more airy components in here. There's more fresh components in there. And it's just overall the most rejuvenating, the most invigorating Dior Sauvage ever. If that was ever bottled in a regular uh, bottle, maybe call it Sauvage Cologne or something like that, that one would be my number one. In terms of scent alone, that is my favorite. Favorite. So yeah, I really, really loved invigorating extra citrus, extra freshness Sauvage. It's just really good. The only thing that I hate about it is that I really can't tell how much I have left in that thing and I can't tell how much I'm spraying. So that's why it's in the honorable mentions. Jumping into our list now, we have our number five. This one is Dior Homme Cologne. Now this one smells fantastic. Just a cocktail, a citrus cocktail in the opening. Smells really, really, really nice. The downside to this one, however, is the performance. It is the most lackluster performing fragrance I've ever smelled, especially coming from a Dior line that is kind of like known for performance. Gosh, but this one just smells so good. I cannot just leave this one out of the list because it smells fantastic. The performance on this one lasts on my skin three to four hours. So it's a very, 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 very fleeting fragrance. Projection on this one is only really good for like 30 minutes. So it's not gonna be good for any long haul or long days. This is gonna be one that you wear when you're doing an errand for 30 minutes or you're going to visit your grandma, you're dropping something off or you're just doing any situation where you're just doing something quick. You know, quick 30 minute activity, a quick hour activity. This is where you're gonna wear this. Maybe you're going on a run, you wanna wear this because, oh man, actually, if you're going on a run, this would be so perfect because it just smells so refreshing, so rejuvenating. So yeah, this is only for short activities, but the smell in here alone, the merits of the smell in here alone landed at least at the number five spot for me because I cannot stop smelling this thing. It just smells absolutely fantastic. I really did wish that it lasts a little bit longer. It's a shame that it doesn't. It really is a shame. But yeah, Dior Homme Cologne, man. Another uh, RIP Fs in the chat fragrance. <laughs> Amazing smell, poor performance. That is a plague that plagues so many fragrances nowadays. But yeah, sad that it has to plague Dior Homme Cologne as well. But smell itself again, guys, extremely, extremely good. Number four spot. We have one that is discontinued, but you can still find sometimes. And we still have decants of this one as well on our website. So that's why I want to talk about it. This one is Dior Homme O for men. So this one is the predecessor to Prada Lom. So if you smelled Prada Lom before and you've not smelled this one, I'm just going to give you the gist of it. It smells 
almost exactly the same. This one just less modernized, less fresh, less sparkly, more on the clean Iris office vibe. So yeah, this one was going to have a more of a classical kind of smell to it than the Prada Lone, which is going to be more youthful, more bright, more invigorating, more modern. This one's going to be more classic, tame, reserved, gentleman. So if you like a more tame, smooth version of Prada Lone, this is definitely one to get because it is exactly that. And it smells absolutely mass appealing. Much like Prada Lone being really, really mass appealing scent, this one is just about the same because it smells just about the same, just classier. I really like this one. Performance on this one is a little bit less or pretty on par with Prada Lone, to be honest with you. Like it's very negligible in the uh, longevity. The longevity actually is about the same. The projection is what I'm talking about here. Projection on this one, since it lacks a lot of fresher notes, it doesn't project as well as Prada Lom, unfortunately, but still smells fantastic. Performance on this one lasts on my skin four to five hours. Projection is quite personal, but works well for the office, for an interview, for any professional type settings that you're gonna be in. You don't want to project too loudly in those times anyway, so your own O for men is perfect for that. In terms of vacation, when would you wear this one? This one is an indoor fragrance for all year round. You're gonna wear it mostly to the office. So indoor all year is great. For outdoor though, spring and summer outdoor seems to be perfect. Fall and winter outdoor might not be too well, because this one is again not too strong. In terms of vacation, besides the office that we discussed that you can wear this one in, you can wear this one pretty much any time when you're indoor. Like you can wear this one casually as well. Might not be the best time for date because again, nah, not the most sexiest smell of all fragrances. It smells clean. If you want to convey yourself that you smell clean and professional, that's you know what you can convey with this fragrance on a date. But at the end of the day, it's just not super sexy and it's one that I don't recommend you wear on a date. But in overall, in summary, wear this one anytime you want, casual time. It's just a really nice fragrance. But again, perfect fit for the office. Besides that, wear it whenever you want. Next one, number three spot here, we have Dior Homme, the original Dior Homme, not Dior Homme 2020. This one is a nice iris fragrance. God, it's a masterpiece. It is a masterpiece. I'm gutted that I have not been able to try the original silver stem or silver sprayer version of this one. I heard that one is just down to earth fantastic. Like this has gotten reformulated quite a few times, but it still smells quite nice to my nose. The iris in here is one that I actually used to not like all so much, but I've, grown, but I've grown to really enjoy it myself. It's a great springtime fragrance, great fall time fragrance, even summer nighttime fragrance for men. It's unique, the iris in here is not too lipsticky like the Roman Intense. It's just enough to give it a little bit of an interesting metrosexual kind of vibe, but still masculine at the same time. Really like this one, the Your Own. Gosh, you just gotta smell it to know. It smells very classic, it's a timeless DNA. You smell this one and you instantly know, yeah, I know why it became popular. You instantly realize that, yeah, it became popular for this very reason, because it just smells so unique masculine still creative at the same time it has a lot going for it plus the performance of this one it's also very nice it lasts on my skin like seven hours and the time of day that i would actually recommend you to wear this besides the spring fall and summer evenings this one is one that you can wear pretty much any time you can wear it to the office i would even wear this one on a date because it does have that kind of creative sexy appeal to it and yeah the only time i really wouldn't wear this one probably to the club because it's just a little bit not clubby. <laughs> it doesn't smell like a clubby fragrance to me, but other than that, wear this anytime. You'll smell really, really, really good. And it's one that, like I said, again, the DNA is never gonna die. It's a timeless DNA. No one's gonna think you smell dated. No one's gonna think you smell like an, you know, an old grandma or anything like that. This is one that is just timeless. Wear this anytime you want. So that's Dior Om, the original. Next one here, we have the grandfather of all Dior Om fragrance. In terms of smell, in terms of smell, the grandfather of all Dior Om fragrance. This one is Dior Homme Parfum. Like you guys see that I skipped over Dior Homme Intense because I hate that one. I hate that one. The lipsticky vibe in that one, just way too much for me. But this one, the Parfum version, toned that down completely to make it just so smooth and masculine and dark and just rich. This one though is also, if you guys have not known, is the longest lasting fragrance designer wise on the planet. This one lasts 36 hours straight <laughs> it, it doesn't come off if you spray it on your clothes even if you wash it you might still get traces of it if, but if you don't wash that shirt that you spray it's gonna linger around for the next couple years so 
this one does not come off. And even on your skin, if you don't take a shower, it could last, again, up to like 36 hours. So it's a very beast mode fragrance. If you're looking for something that's just beast mode, if you're one of those people who love collecting strong fragrances, this is definitely one you need to have in your collection. You cannot miss this one because like I said, again, this is the strongest one designer-wise. So yeah, Dior Homme Parfum. Really love the smell, creative, dark, rich. It takes the original Dior Homme DNA and really made it masculine, really like godfather like masculine really really strong gosh it's just so good uh, the one drawback to this one the reason why it's not at number one is simply because i can't wear it too often because it's just so strong it is purely a winter time fragrance outdoors uh, you can wear this one indoors i guess if you have a bigger space for this one to have room to breathe don't wear this in confined space you will kill someone um, wearing this one on a date is scary unless you're very very confident you can pull this one off um, to the club too pungent to the office again scary unless you're really confident you can pull it off so yeah not a lot of time to wear this one but it's an absolutely fantastic fragrance and it's one that i enjoy wearing around the house for myself and <laughs> i gotta tell you a story this one is so strong that when if i spray this one downstairs and i come upstairs two hours later i will smell it upstairs if i spray it upstairs and i go downstairs i will smell it downstairs <laughs> it just follows you like if i what i meant by i don't spray it on myself but if i spray it in the room just on a tester strip i'll smell it later in another room on like a different floor of the house so yeah really strong ridiculously strong fragrance dior and parfum here number two Number one spot, you guys already know, I told you guys it was gonna be in this list. This one is the George Sauvage EDT. The reason it's here is everything. The smell itself, the quality is amazing. The versatility is amazing. The mass appeal is amazing. It's just one of those fragrances that is, is a once in a decade all-star fragrance. And I love every minute of wearing this one. It just smells absolutely fantastic. It has a little bit of a, of a metallic -y vibe, sure. But that's really, really, really not a bad part of this fragrance. In the air, it smells absolutely gorgeous. The scratchiness, the piercingness actually helps it grab attention extremely well. It helps it project extremely well. So I don't know what the hate is with this fragrance. It just smells fantastic. I think anyone who realistically hate this one have never really given it a fair chance like outside to be perfectly honest wear it around friends wear it around people they never really gave it that proper chance i've been wearing this one for the past few years and every time gosh it just smells fantastic even though i myself uh i own a lot of niche fragrances i love a lot of indie fragrances i know that this is not the most high quality fragrance when in comparison to like aventus and all those fragrances like that but still it is just a fantastic fragrance the quality is still better than majority of designer fragrance mind you but yeah it's just overall fantastic i love this one it's one that i would have backup bottles of i actually have half a bottle left so after i run out of this one I'm definitely purchasing a bigger bottle of this so yeah that's why it's at number one i used it a lot i got a lot of compliments with it and i had a lot of good memories with it so yeah number one spot dior sauvage the edt version all right guys that's it for this video today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, don't forget to leave your top five down in the comment section below and also if you want to try any of these fragrances out we do have decans of them yes even a parfum version we do have a decan of those as well so yeah check us out on our website decanpatique.com and we'll see you guys in the next one peace out bye